Now, another tip for you. You're practicing the move, you're walking up and down, you get to the actual end of the actual room or the mat itself. How do I turn around and go back the other way? Well, let me show you. So, I'm at the end of the mats. How do I turn? What I need to do, I step with my back leg. Now, as I step with my back leg, I need to step a distance, which is then, as I turn and pivot on the balls of my feet, the distance is relevant to the actual stance that I'm in. So, I'm in the walking stance, and I need to be on that center line. I don't need it too wide. If I don't step enough, my feet are crossed. So I need to make sure, practice, that I just step enough so that when I turn, I'm back on that straight line again so the inner edges of my feet are together, like so. So that's the actual feet itself. Now, what happens with the actual hands? So as I'm turning, my blocking hand that I'm going to end up blocking with comes up to my ear, like so. So as I'm stepping, my hand is coming up, my hand is up on my ear, my other arm comes across my body, so I'm all protected here. As I'm turning and pivoting on the balls of my feet, as I'm pivoting and finishing, my hands are coming down the block, like so. So if we do that in one quick continuous move, like so. So if you notice what I'm doing first, I step, my hand comes up, and then I'm twisting and blocking at the same time. And there, from there, I'm ready to then walk back down again. Like so. As always, until the next time, Yamsa Henida.